brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The Wyoming Michelli mosquito has been found on Guam, but before the public is alarmed, it's more of a pest than anything else at the moment. Michelle Lastimosa, Environmental Public Health Officer. We do have mosquitoes on Guam that can transmit disease uh, to humans and animals, but at this point, this mosquito is categorized as a nuisance mosquito. So yeah. it'll still feed on humans, it'll yeah. still give you uh, a welt um, and redness when mm -hmm. um, it bites you, uh, <laughs> along with itchiness. Regional entomologist for the Pacific Island Health Officers Association, Elodie Vajda, says the newly introduced mosquito was found in a bromeliad plant in the Chalampago area. The species is native to South Florida and in the 1980s found its way to Hawaii and was also discovered in Tahiti a decade ago. With the horticultural trade, there, it's inevitable that new insect species will be introduced on the island, but that's why we have you know, the Department of Agriculture that makes sure that they, they limit that, but sometimes more frequently than we wish um, it happens that an exotic species is introduced. As multiple specimens of male and female Wyoming Michelli were collected from only one location on island, experts say it is difficult to determine both the timing of this species introduction and how far spread they are throughout the island. However, the public can do its part to eliminate mosquito breeding sites. It can be as easy as removing standing water to prevent them from multiplying. You can also protect yourself from mosquito bites from wearing long sleeves or pants or wearing mosquito repellents that contain DEET. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maige. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.